Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Debian 12.6 that is the latest version on VMA workstation. First go to Debian official website and download it. Debian.org This is the official website. Then see here we have the download but don't click on download, click on other downloads. Then click on download mirrors. Then scroll up. See here we have the DVD, CD or DVD. So if you are on AMD 64, you have to click on AMD 64. If you are on Intel processor, you have to click on i386. So click on the respective DVD. So click on AMD 64. Once you click on, it will give the, see here, we have the ISO file. So Debian 12.6 DVD ISO file and its size is 3.7 gigabytes okay so click on this debian dvd iso file once we click on see it automatically started download so and it see here it size is 3.7 gigabytes okay i am cancelling this one because i have already downloaded but in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open vma workstation if you want to install vma workstation then install it by going through the link provided in the video description and install it. But VMware Workstation player is free to use for non-commercial purpose and VMware Workstation is provided. So we have to pay for the licenses. So I have the both. I will show you how to install Debian 12.6 on both Workstation Pro and Workstation player. Okay, start search for VMware. See, I have the VMware Workstation Pro and VMware Workstation player okay click on both open both see this is the vmware workstation pro and this is the vmware workstation player see i have these many virtual machines on vmware workstation player and these are the virtual machines on vmware workstation pro but the installation process of debian is same on both so here you have to click on create a new virtual machine then then here you have to select the installer disk image file that is ISO. So you have to browse and you have to select the ISO. Then you have to click on open. Here also it is the same. Click on a create a new virtual machine. Then select the installer disk image and click on browse. Then select the downloaded ISO file. Then click on open. Next see here. Even if you click on here, we got the same screen. Okay. So, the Debian virtual machine creation process is same on both. So, click on create a new virtual machine. Then, select the installer disk image file. Then, click on browse. Then, select the downloaded DVD ISO file. Click on open. Then, click on next. Then, select the Linux. Then, select the type of operating system. So, see here we have the up to Debian 11. So, select the latest one. Then, click on next. Here, provide the name. So, Debian 12.7 VM. Okay. This is a just name for the virtual machine, not the host name. Click on browse. Then we have to choose the location where we have the NS space. Click on browse. Create any folder. Then give the same name. It is up to you. Okay. Click on OK. See. This is the location to store this virtual machine. So click on next. Here we have to provide the virtual hard disk size. So I am giving 100 gigabytes. Then click on next. See, this is the summary of the virtual machine. By default, memory selected as 2 gigabytes. If you want to customize this one, click on customize hardware. Then use the this pointer to up, or you can mention the memory in megabytes. Okay. And this is the processors. I am going to give two. Okay. If you are okay with all these settings, then click on close. Then click on finish. See. Here you will find the C. This is the Debian virtual machine. Still, if you want to modify settings of this virtual machine, right click on it and select the settings. Or just click on select this one and click on this edit machine settings. Okay. If you are working with all the settings, just click on this power on this virtual machine. Or right click and select the power, then start the then power on. Or select it and click on machine then here also we have the same power 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 arm option okay 
all three are same so click on power on this virtual machine use up and down arrows select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter then select the language that is english and click on continue now select your location i am okay with united states then click on continue select keyboard american english continue here we have to provide the name for the host so i am giving db 126 vm this is the host name let also we can change the host name click on next my mean continue see now it is asking us to add this machine to domain name so if you don't have any domain name just keep this as blank and click on continue see now it is asking us to set the password for root account so i am giving the password for root account confirm it then click on continue now it is asking us to set up a new user so i am giving new user full name as auto schools username also same then click on continue provide the password for this new user then click on continue now select the clock so i have selected eastern so i have to select this clock so click on continue partition is i am going with guided and use entire disk so okay so i am not going to split or select the first one and click on continue continue okay all in one partition so click on continue select the finish partitioning and right changes to disk and click on continue set if you want this is just confirmation click on s and continue see if you want to scan for more media you have to insert another one now so i don't want so select no and click on continue no i don't want to participate in usage survey select no and continue see here by default it has selected genome if you want to select sfce select it even ssh it is up to you okay i'm okay with uh, these two then click on continue see installation has been started now we have to select the display manager type gdm3 or light dm okay so i am going with gdm3 then click on continue see now it is asking us to install grub bootloader to primary drive so if you want see we have only one so select s and click on continue so if you want enter device manually you have to select the first one so click on that second one and click on continue see we have successfully installed debian 12.6 also see here installation is complete so it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation so we have to remove the iso file so right click on this one go to settings then cd dvd see it is already mounted so just the check box that is connect at power on so we have to uncheck this one and click on okay then click on continue so it will restart see we have successfully installed click on at schools that is a username then provide the password but see see here click on vm see vma tools are not installed so you can install by going to the link provided in the video description and install it click on next again click on next 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 skip start using debian okay now open terminal click on terminal let me increase the pi font size preferences unnamed Then select the custom part. Give it to twelve, fourteen. Select it. Close it. See, font has been increased. Now verify the version of the Debian. 
mod slash etc os hyphen release hit enter see we have installed debian 12 okay q to find the ip by giving ip space addr see this is the ip of this machine okay q to quit control l to clear screen so in this video we have seen how to download and install debian 12.6 on vmware workstation for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you